Once inspiration has had its way with my mind, I start with pencil because it allows for uninterrupted creative flow. I'm not interrupted by update pop-ups, battery being too low, remembering to save. I don't need all that. I just need a full stream of consciousness to get it all down. Once that's done, then I go ahead and put it into Photoshop and start my finessing and go from there. So now the final composition and design has been approved by the client. So it is now time to get going, get this mural started. So I've got to pack up the truck and then I have to drive to Montclair, New Jersey. And let's get going. This makes me laugh, it's all crooked and whatnot. I was not ready on this day to be doing video. I was supposed to be doing projection and chalking in, but as a muralist, you have to roll with the punches. So the projection is now done. I had to do it in two sections, left and right. Um, there's just not enough distance between the wall and how far I could put the projector at this location. So this is a 20 foot uh, wide mural. So, but anyway, it worked out. It's all chalked in and it's ready to go. So I'm doing the yellow now and then I'll use the blue and the black. The yellow and blue are obviously the brand colors for this brewery. Very bright, uh, very welcoming. And doing it this way allows me to have a smoother process at the end. So right now you'll see that I have to be more conscious and it's a little slower um, as I'm working. But at the back end, when I'm doing the black line, it goes a little, just a little smoother, a little quicker. I actually didn't mix any colors on site due to the low light conditions. I did them off site in natural light just for accuracy. Um, otherwise it would have sort of led my eye astray. Uh, businesses and residencies can change their lighting in the future. So I just prefer to mix them as close to what they're supposed to be. While I do carefully plan things out, it's important to still stay just a little nimble because things don't always go as planned. When I was working in Photoshop, um, I did decide to make the two leaves by the barley on the left a little less vibrant just to make it pop. But if I hadn't done that, I know for a fact that on site, I probably would have made that change anyway. But this is the kind of thing you talk to your client about beforehand, about you making tweaks and that you'll call them if they need to make any kind of major decision on the fly. I'm using golden fluid acrylics on this mural. I always use them. The background received a high quality latex, um, but the rest is in golden. I like using it because of the particular flow it has, how it works with a brush. I just really like that. They're more expensive actually than other uh, acrylics, but these have color fast properties to them. Um, so the murals end up looking better over time when you compare them to other acrylics. So that's why I use them in my work. I was given early access to work before they opened in the afternoon, which was totally cool. I also worked the two days that they were closed, but they were just closed to the public. Behind the scenes, there's still a lot that has to go on at a brewery, and here's a little taste of that, so check it out.
visual concept for this mural came from a question that I asked Leo and Denise, the owners of the brewery. I asked them what made them unique and what their strength was. Um, and for them, they felt it was their flavors, their ingredients. Uh, Leo is from West Africa and Denise's roots are from the Caribbean, Jamaica. Um, they use flavors that are native to those locations. Uh, if you want the full list of what's in the mural, you can just go to my website, go to the murals page. That's the core to my visual narrative for this piece. I kept seeing all of these flavors and I also saw this huge wave of ale, of beer. I also found that Leo has dabbled in music while broadcasting and also as a pastry chef. So this brought me to create this very sort of cool, special chemistry vibe in it and um, the two chemical compounds that you see there are actually real the one on the top left i'm not sure if i'm going to pronounce this right it's called cohumulone which is one of the five alpha acids in hops and the one on the bottom right is a loop lupulone <laughs> and it's one of the four uh, beta acids in hops but if you were to ask me what the piece de resistance is for me personally as a creative artist because we always have like our own little thing about the work that we do that we like probably the most um, i would have to confess that it came from a film so if you keep watching i'll tell you which film inspired my favorite part <music> The imagery on the upper left is um, my way of bringing in the roots and the seed of how the brewery started. It started um, in West Africa where the women uh, would make the beer, not the men, and they would make it in bowls. Leo always remembers looking forward to his mom making it on the holiday. So I thought it was really important to bring that into this piece. Um, so this is my way of doing that. The tree is the baobab tree, which is very significant in West Africa. It's also one of the flavors, the ingredients in one of their beers. The yellow shape that you see there, I actually got, I took Africa and in Photoshop, I actually just sort of skewed it um, and shrunk it. And um, that's what you see there. So, and the chiseled earth, the blue sort of chiseled earth underneath, I made the blue sort of transparent in that area. Um, it's less vibrant than the other blue because it's a memory. It's supposed to be sort of a nod to that. Drum roll. Okay, so the film that inspired the piece de resistance for me just personally, on a personal note as a creative artist, is Jerry Lewis's The Nutty Professor. That is what flashed through my mind when I was thinking of the chemistry and the ingredients. Um, the concept of brewing and the tonics and elixirs were like all dancing in my comedic brain. So yeah, that is what inspired it. If you go back to the film and you see him in his lab, many of the scenes, there were like glass beakers and hoses and mechanisms of experimentation. Um, so that's my invention there of this uh, contraption of chemistry that I included in this piece. It's very, very fun. I just like including humor where I can. And so I really like it. So the lighting here, while well, I've been doing this mural, it's been a little challenging for mural work. But the kind of, you know, for the microbrewery, it's perfect ambiance light. Um, I have to take the two lights, sorry, the two lights that they had and sort of bungee them up a little bit so this way it wouldn't get, um, so the camera could sort of view everything. But I've been working with like this one little uh, clamp work light that wasn't really doing much good. I kept moving it. I'm sure you could see in the video how I sort of kept moving it around. So last night I went and got like a, a better one. This way I would have two of them and so it's lit a little better now. Note to self, do this at the beginning. <laughs> Not at the end.
am about to head out. I just finished taking down the scaffolding to this mural. I'm at the Montclair Brewery in Montclair, New Jersey. And come in and support them, come in and support me. Support me by subscribing to my YouTube channel. This is headed towards the back, if you can see that. And my truck is all set up. So I've got the scaffold, the cones. So come in, check out the mural, have a beer, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.